Let us see the problems in Chebyshev filter. Obtain an unlocked Chebyshev filter. Transfer function that satisfies the constraints. H of j omega lies between 1 by root 2 and 1 for the frequency between 0 and 2. H of j omega is less than 0.1 if omega is greater than 4. Now let us see the solution. Given the pass band magnitude 1 by root of 1 plus epsilon square is equal to 1 by root. The stop band magnitude is given by 1 by root of 1 plus lambda square is equal to 0.1. Pass band frequency is equal to 2. Stop band frequency is equal to 4. From 1 by root of 1 plus epsilon square we can find the value of epsilon. From 1 by root of 1 plus lambda square we can find the value of lambda. The order of the filter is given by this equation. Substitute the value of lambda, epsilon, omega s and omega p. For finding the value of cos h inverse of x, we can either use the calculator directly, otherwise we can use this uh, equation. Now we can find the value of n and then round it off it to the next higher integer value. Next step is to find the major and minor axis of the ellipse a and b. a is given by this equation where mu depends upon the epsilon value. Now epsilon is known to us, so from that we can find the mu value. Using mu, omega p and n value, we can find the value of a. Similarly, we can find the value for b. Third step is to calculate the poles. The poles is given by s of x k, which depends upon major axis, minor axis and the angle where the angle pi k is given by this equation where the number of poles is depend upon the order of the filter now we find pi 1, pi 2 and pi 3 values which depends upon the value of k now we find the first pole that is s suffix 1 depending upon the a value, b value and pi 1 value similarly find the second pole s2 and the third pole S3. Next step is to find the denominator polynomial of the transfer function. We can take S minus the first pole S1, then S minus the second pole S2, and S minus the third pole S3. Rewrite the expression as shown. Simplify the expression by taking A plus B and A minus B, which is equal to A square minus B square. Simplifying this, we get the denominator polynomial. Next step is to find the numerator of the transfer function. Here n is equal to 3 which is odd number. Numerator of the HFS can be obtained by substituting s is equal to 0 in the denominator of the transfer function. Therefore, HFS is equal to 2 by substituting s is equal to 0. Hence, the transfer function of the analog filter is equal to the numerator of h of s divided by the num denominator of h of s. Let us see another digital Chebyshev filter design. Design a Chebyshev low pass filter with the specifications alpha p is equal to 1 dB rippled in the pass band where omega lies between 0 and 0.2 pi. Alpha s is equal to 15 dB rippled in the stop band where omega lies between 0.3 pi to pi using bilinear transformation. Let us see the solution for this problem. Given alpha p is equal to 1 dB for the digital free fast band frequency 0.2 pi. Alpha s is equal to 15 dB for the digital stop band frequency 0.3 pi. Assume time t is equal to 1 second. For bilinear transformation, convert digital frequency into analog frequency using this equation. Thus, we are finding the analog pass band frequency and analog stop band frequency. First step is to find the order of the filter. N is given by this equation. Here, attenuation is given instead of magnitude, so we can find the lambda value using this equation. And epsilon using this. By substituting lambda, epsilon, omega s and omega p, we can find the value for N. Round it off to the next higher integer. Second step is to find the major and minor axis of the ellipse. The value of A depends upon omega p, mu and n value. The value of mu depends upon the epsilon. 
here attenuation of passband is given instead of magnitude so we can find the epsilon using this now a can be calculated b can be calculated using this equation third step is to calculate the poles the poles are represented by sk the angle pi k can be calculated using this equation now we calculate pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 and pi 4 now the poles can be calculated s1 s2 s3 and s4 fourth step is to find the denominator of the transfer function h of s to find the denominator s minus s1 s minus s2 s minus s3 and s minus s4 combining the first and last term as a plus b and a minus b as a square minus b square and combining second and third term as a plus b and a minus b as a square minus b square we get the denominator polynomial of h of s next step is to find the numerator of the transfer function h of s substitute s is equal to 0 in the denominator of the h of s here n is equal to 4 which is even divided by root of 1 plus epsilon square so the transfer function h of s is equal to numerator of h of s divided by the denominator of h of s next step is to convert this h of s into h of z that is unlock filter to digital filter using bilinear transformation bilinear transformation is s has to be replaced by 2 by t into 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse so in h of s in the place of s we are substituting 2 by t into 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse here t is, is equal to 1 second simplifying this we get h of z this is the transfer function for the digital filter for the given specifications